You won't believe the color of this dough. I've got deer expert Dr. Jonathan Shaw here to help me figure it out. Showcasing North Carolina's candid critters. From the Museum of Natural Sciences, it's You Won't Believe with Roland Caves. We highlight the craziest pictures from Candid Critters, a citizen science camera trap project where volunteers like you help us see wildlife and do science. Today I've got Dr. Jonathan Shaw, the state deer biologist for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, here to help me figure out what's going on with this crazy picture. Thanks for joining us, John. Glad to be here. All right, so here's the picture. What is going on here? Well, believe it or not, in this picture, there, there actually are two deer. When you first look at the picture, you see a, a big white blur in the corner there. Yeah. And if you look behind, there's another deer that is, is normal color that, that really blends in really well with its surroundings the way it's supposed to. Uh, the deer up front appears to be an albino deer, and a white deer can either be an albino or it can be leukistic. And the difference between an albino and leukistic deer is that albino deer have the cells that produce color, but those cells don't function properly and they don't produce any color at all. Uh, so the result of an albino deer uh, and, and not having that ability to produce melanin or, or color is a deer with a, a pink nose, white fur, sometimes it can be yellowish fur. Uh, you can see pink in the ears and also if you can see the hooves, you'll see there's also no color in the hooves as well. So when you see two deer here, one that stands out like crazy because it's white and one that blends in, you can kind of guess what might happen if a hunter or a coyote was there, right? Yeah, North Carolina's not known for long periods of, of heavy snowfall, <laughs> okay. so you can imagine uh, being white is, is not a good color to be in the state of North Carolina, and they really stand out uh, and may be more susceptible to predation from predators, uh, including hunters. And so you recommend that hunters should shoot them or should leave them alone? Well, we oftentimes get asked that by the public uh, when they see white deer like this one. Uh, it's really up to the individual. I, I tell them to treat it as you would treat any other deer. Uh, you're not going to have any impact on the gene pool of the population by taking this deer out or leaving this deer behind. Uh, so it's really just a matter of preference for the hunter. So can these albinos actually survive long enough and breed and have babies as well? They do. They successfully have, have babies, and those babies may or may not be white. Uh, this is a, a recessive genetic trait, uh, so it's going to pass on that gene, but depending on the, the sire, the male that it, it breeds with, uh, that gene may or may not show up and, uh, or be expressed in the next generation. Well, let's, let, let's see. We've got another picture that's come from one of our citizen scientists of another Another funny looking deer. This is still a fawn, has some spots. Uh, what, what do you think is going on with this very, very pale deer? Uh, I, I believe it's the same uh, abnormality. It's, it's an albino. Uh, you can see that it does have a little bit of color there, but it's not uncommon for albinos to have a yellowish tint to their fur. Okay, so you can, be, you, you can have some color and still, be, especially in the yellow area, and still be considered That's right, albino. and, it, and if, if this wasn't a fawn, the, the spots wouldn't be there at all. We may not even notice the, the change in color because it's a very subtle change between the, the yellowish color and the, the whiter and color. And what about the there. red ears? Yeah, that's, that's also due to lack of pigmentation uh, and having that white fine fur around the ears. We can really see uh, blood vessels coming oh, through. Oh, so that's the just the blood vessels that that's you're right. seeing in that it, color. That's making it a pinkish color. Wow, yeah, that really makes them look like a weird, weird, weird deer. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, John. That is definitely one of the craziest looking deer I've ever seen. Thanks so much for coming and sharing your information about these weird looking white deer. And thanks to everyone online for joining us. And remember, if you're in the state, go to the North Carolina Candor Critters website to sign up, join us as a citizen scientist, and help us run camera traps across the state. See wildlife, do science.